Edward think? Did he think I wanted to act in this film or direct first? What came out to him? It was a greedy actor. The greedy actor was like, what a great character. What a great character for me. What a great character for me soon. You know, it was like, it was, like, it was one of those things that makes all your brain go, oh, that would be very hard. That would be very interesting. How would you do that exactly? Boys. Frank, frankly, frankly, Franco. Edward had a lot on his plate and, you know, it was just incredibly ambitious. And so, you know, he was very, very focused. It was really liberating because it made the process more immediate. You know, you didn't have to, like, wait for the director behind the monitor to watch a take to make a decision. Taking on the other dimensions of the idea of actually sort of imagining it and, and making the film came later. The person who's conveying you through the world is in this case, it's someone with a very, very unique set of challenges. They're trapped within the confines of their condition and they're having to navigate around it and we're sort of like rooting for them when the rest of the world is being tough on them. It was worth using him as a vehicle to go into some even deeper things about America and about New York. Some moments between your character and his character, Lionel, so intimate mm. and so they were pulling a lot from me and the music helped as well how did the music yeah. influence you watching the film and oh. seeing it on the day we actually had the track that was written by tom york and performed by winton marcella so we had that in the jazz club scene to dance to and it was just so evocative and so atmospheric it was really really special she doesn't know she doesn't know what don't i know what can fans expect when they go to the cinema and they want to see this on the screen? What are they in for? First thing that happens is you just get hypnotized. It looks right, the music is great, the actors are serious and good, and you sort of go, I don't, I don't know what is going on here yet, but I don't care, I'm into being here. It's one of those sweeping detective thrillers that you really have to see in the cinema because it's just so moody and uh, really keeps you guessing. You know, that's sort of the magic of movies when they really transport you and you sink into this feeling of, this is right, this is good, you know, now where are we going? It's like a meaty, intriguing, twisty, turny, murky detective thriller. You're webbed up in this somehow and these people aren't going to stop. <laughs> You got a head just like mine, always turning things around. Some people call it a gift, but it's a brain affliction just the same. 